Concept of mole. Eh? What does it mean by mole? By definitions, a mole is defined as the amount of substance which contains the the Avogadro number of particles. Okay, and the Avogadro number of particle is defined as the number of atoms in twelve gram of the carbon twelve isotope, and which is equal to six point zero two times ten to the power of twenty three. What does this mean? Uh, it means uh, scientists that uh, they want to deal with the number of particles. Number of particles can be the number of atoms, the number of molecules, the number of ions. Uh, okay, so they want to deal with this uh, number of particles, and they want to develop a smart way for them to count the number of particles in a substance. Okay, and uh, that's what they do. Okay, first they take a piece of carbon. Okay, there are a piece of carbons. Okay, the mass of these carbons is uh twelve point zero 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 gram. Explain why is it carbon twelve? What does the carbon twelve stand for? That's a very good question. So, uh, what is what is this carbon twelve? Okay, what is this carbon twelve? Okay, why is it twelve gram? Okay. Uh, in previous chapters, okay, we have learned isotope. We have learned isotope. And if you still remember, isotopes are the nuclides. Okay, isotopes are the nuclides that have same number of proton, same number of protons, but different number of neutron in the nucleus. So that's isotope. And carbon, it has three isotopes. We have carbon. 12 okay carbon 12 carbon 13 and carbon 14 okay now for for carbon 12 it has six proton six neutron okay and carbon th carbon 13 it has six proton seven neutrons see, see same same protons eh? same number of proton but different number of neutron eh? okay uh carbon 14 it has a uh, six proton eight neutron okay eight neutron then how about the number of nucleon the nuclear number nuclear number okay for nuclear number carbon 12 but the nuclear number is 12 okay uh, carbon 13 is 13 and carbon 14 the nuclear number is 14 okay new this that's this nuclear number okay nuclear number now nuclear number is the number of proton plus neutron proton plus neutron is your nuclear number so this is nuclear number Okay, now you know why we call it carbon 12 because the nuclear number is 12. This one we call it carbon 13 is because the nuclear number is 13. Eh? This called it carbon 14 is because the nuclear number is 14. Okay, and for us to determine the Avogadro number, we use only carbon 12. We do not use carbon 13 or carbon 14. So we take carbon 12, eh? count there are how many particles inside this 12.000 gram of carbons let's erase this huh? okay those isotopes things let's erase it so just now we say that uh what scientists do is they take uh 12.000 gram of this uh, carbon 12 isotope huh? okay now they, they take 12 gram is because uh, this is carbon 12 okay huh? because this is carbon 12 huh? therefore we take 12 gram and uh, that's easy for the calculations uh, but I'm not going to uh, talk discuss about the mathematics here, okay? Okay, but the reason they take 12 gram is because uh, the re relative atomic mass of carbon 12 is 12, okay? So they take this 12.000 grams of carbons and then they count how many uh, atoms or how many particles inside that carbons, uh, okay? And then um, they found that, okay, the number is. Uh, uh, six point zero two times ten to the power of twenty three. In SPM, okay, usually we just uh we just round this number to three significant figures. Actually, uh, there are still a few numbers. Uh, there are a few uh, a few number after this two, uh, but in, uh, we don't interest in that. Okay, so in SPM, uh, usually we just use three significant figure, and uh. Sometimes just one significant figure, okay? Sometimes that is, that they will tell you that, okay, the Avogadro constant is 6 times 10 to the power of 23, eh? okay? So usually these are the number that we use in SPM. 
So they take 12 grams of carbons, okay? They count one by one, okay? Then to see how many carbon atoms uh, or carbon particles inside this 12 gram. And this is the number, okay? This is the number of particles that they get. Okay, this number of particles that they get, okay? Uh, so this number actually is a very big number, right? Six, zero, two, zero. This is numbers of uh, particles or number of atoms that they get eh, inside these carbons. Uh, when we when we write in standard form, is this lah? Huh? So meaning carbon twelve isotope have uh, six times ten to the power of twenty three atoms. Yes, twelve gram of carbon twelve. Twelve gram. Of course, if if you have more, then you have more number. But but twelve gram. Eh, if if it's exactly twelve point zero zero gram, uh, this is the number of atoms inside. They have this number. Okay. And then so they name this number uh, the Avogadro number. They count how many atoms inside, they get this number. Okay, this, this is the number of atoms. Uh, and they name this the Avogadro number. One mole. One mole is defined as the amount of substance which contains the Avogadro number of particles. Means this number uh, okay, is equal to one mole. Okay, so what is one mole? A mole is a number. Okay, a mole is a number. Uh, this is the values of the number. So just now we learned that mole is a number. It represents the number. Uh, 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23, right? For example, one dozen. Okay, one dozen of eggs is equal to how many eggs? 12, that's correct. 12, eh? So dozen is a number. Dozen represent a number. How about half dozen? Six, right? Okay, how do you get that? How do you get that? We take half multiplied by one dozen then you get six right okay a quarter dozen that is equal to three right three yeah so 104 multiplied by 12 yeah? okay then you get three so a dozen it represents a number a mole also represents a number the concept is the same it just represents a number so one mole of atoms equal to how many atoms 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 this is the number of atoms so that is one mole of atoms one mole of atoms 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 this is just a very big number okay how about half mole of atoms we divided by 2 right we take half and then multiply by 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 right then we get uh, 3.01 multiplied by 10 to the power of 23 and uh, then how about a quarter of mole okay so what we do is uh, six, uh, 1 over 4 times 10 to the, uh, sorry, 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. That is equal to 1.505 times 10 to the power of 23. So that is more. It represents a number. And this is the number that it represents. 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. Like dozens. Dozens represent a number. Mole also represent a number. So uh, usually we do not use it for eggs or ball or what, okay? We use it for atoms, molecules, or ions. Eh? So uh, it can be one mole of atoms, eh? uh, or it can also be uh, one mole of this uh, carbon dioxide molecules, and it can also be used for ions. Eh? So this mole can be used for atoms, molecules, or ions. So how to find the number of mole? Eh? Uh, what we do is we take two, okay? Two multiplied by uh, the Avogadro number, six point. 0 02 times 10 to the power of 23 yeah? and uh, if this uh, 3.6 uh, then we, we take 3.6 okay multiply by 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 yeah? okay. and if it's 2.8 then uh, 2.8 more okay 2.8 more then uh, we take 2.8 times uh, 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 and if it's a uh, 1 over 4 mole, then we take 1 over 4 times uh, 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. Okay. And then you use calculator to find the answer, right? Can we use 0 0.25? Yes. Okay. 1 over 4 or 0 0.25. Huh? Uh, and then you, then you use your calculator to find your answer, right? Okay. Now I'm going to teach you how to use calculator. I'll teach you an easy way to use your calculator to do these calculations. Eh? Okay. So I use this uh, FX570MS calculator. For example, uh, if you are asked to find 3.32 mole, uh, 3.32 mole. So what you do is you take 3.32 times 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23, right? That's what you do. Uh. So 
in your calculator, how you insert this? Uh, normally, students will press a say 3.32 times 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. Now, this is not the correct way. If you do this, sometimes you will get it correct and sometimes you may get it wrong. So what's the correct way? If this is not correct, then what's the correct way? The correct way is 3.32 times uh, 6.02 E23. Now what is this E23? Is this one, the EXP. Yeah? So this EXP. So you press 3.32 2 times 6.02 e23 uh, and then you press equal uh, that's the correct way to insert this uh, standard form but uh, what I want to teach you is not this okay so because you see yeah every time if you want to find number of mole then you have to press times 10 to the power of 0 2 e23 it's very tedious right and sometimes you may make mistake okay so I suggest that you store this number, this 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23, yeah? 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. I suggest that you store it, you store this, you store this inside your calculator. Where to store? I want you to store it inside this M. Store it here, M. Because the M, you can assume that M stands for mole, okay? So, you can store this number inside here. So how to do that? You can see that in your calculator, you have this STO here, right? Can you see that? Okay, and, and this stands for store. So to store this number inside here, so what you do is you try to key in this number. 6.02 E23. So in your calculators, you key in. Uh, 6.02 E23. After that, you press Shift Store. So after you press Shift Store, and then uh, you need to determine where you want to store. Okay, now actually you can store in A, B, C, D, E, F, M, X, Y. Okay, one of these red number here. I suggest that you store in M, because M, you can assume that is small, okay? So Shift Store M. Uh, then in your calculator, then you can see that it show you an arrow. Show that this number is already stored inside M. Uh, then you can delete the number. So now the number is already here. If I off the calculator, it's still there. Yes, uh, unless you, you clear it. Clear it means you press shift clear and then just clear all. Eh? Then only it will it will be clear. Okay, or else it will be there. Now we already store there. Now how to recall it? Okay, how to recall it? Now to recall it, you have this recall functions. Clearly first, okay, if you want to recall that number, okay, what you do is you just press recall M. So straight away, they will tell you M equals to 6.02 times 10 to the power 23, right? But that's still not the best part of it. The best part of it is now, since you have stored it, you can do the calculations easily. What does it mean? For example, if you want to do three point you want to find 3.32 mole. Eh? So what you need to do is 3.32 eh? and then you press recall M. And then you press equal. And you get the answer. 1.99864 times 10 to the power of 24. So next times, after you have stored this in your calculators, eh? okay. your teacher say, hey, 0 0.55 mole. So just your calculator, 0 0.55. Recall M equal, then you get the answer. Ah, that's how easy you find number of mole. Eh? As long as you do not clear it, then you can calculate the number of mole easily. Eh? So I'll give you some practice. Eh? Okay, the first three questions. Eh? We have this one, 0 0.32, 7.64, and 59.98 mole. This is equal to how many particles? So use your calculator. Tell me the first one first. So what's the number of atoms? 0 0.32, 1.99864 times 10 to the power of what? 10 to the power of? 23, right? Okay, that's correct. How about the second one? 7.64. So 59.98 mol. 3.610796 times 10 to the power of 25. Okay. So 
So that is how we use calculator to find the number of mole. Okay, so try to store this number of mole inside this M here. Okay, uh, then you can find it easily. But one thing you must be very, very careful is that uh, this number is 6.02 times 10 to the power 23, right? But sometimes, as, as I told you just now, sometimes in exam, they may give you this number, 6 times 10 to the power 23, yeah? but not 6.02, okay? Mm. So if this number is given, then uh, you must be very careful, okay? Then you shouldn't use 6.02, eh?